the world exists and it needs somebody to conquer it and that somebody will be me with chile because i finally get to play the new dlc at the request of tommy lea one i shall go down the mapuche path liberate all the natives and then conquer the rest of the world because after all the world belongs to the natives you know today is also a very big day because i turned off the player led conferences mod for the first time in like four months i think so we are also gonna try to get some achievements particularly this one so without further ado let's begin by looking to tradition we start democratic that kind of sucks we are in conflicts with the mapuche but this one stay for long the hacienda system which kind of sucks anarchy the legacy of naval arm race and the chilean economy <laughs> that's a lot of red numbers well at least we got this one that's good isn't it and we got only two racer slots <laughs> and we don't start with the weapons one damn bro Chile kinda sucks. How the fuck are we 20 years behind weapons, but got this much plane technology? Anyway, let's start building some shit. I don't know which part of the country I'm gonna get in the civil war, but I know for sure we're gonna have a civil war, and I think the Mapuches are in the south. So I'm just gonna assume that I'm gonna keep the capital in the civil war, but probably not. So let's get something going there. Okay, Chile has a lot of resources, that's nice. Argentina kinda got the... Argentina kinda got the short end of the stick here, and I'm, I'm sorry to inform you, Mr. Augustine, but the stick is gonna get even shorter very soon. Oh, great, we have an imminent coup attempt. This is exactly what Chile needed, a little bit more instability. Also guys, can we talk about the fact that Paradox did it again? In the list of interesting countries, they did not place Paraguay or Uruguay there. So now there are four countries in the focus tree list that don't show up. Those two... Ausa and Iceland, which I think it's very sad and stupid. Oh yeah, also, I don't remember this island being on the map before this update. Am I just crazy or they just added this island with the update? Oh, hi there. You know, this world conquest took a lot of time and I would really appreciate a subscribe from you. I'm trying to reach 50k until the end of this year. So you could help me very much with one single click. Also, if you want to do way more than that, I have a Patreon in the description of this video, which you can join for only $1. So please just think about that. Thank you and back to the video. Ah, yes, a certified south american classic one month into the campaign and we already have a coup those jokes write themselves man ah take a look at him he's so proud that he took out the government too bad he's not gonna be here for long all right now this part of the focus tree is preparing for the civil war you can also only do three of them and rush the civil war but from what i understood you lose the other buffs so we are gonna do them all starting with this one to prevent the other chile from getting some focuses we also got those decisions which we have to click we are gonna get some good army buffs from this one and we also got a timer that shows us what the other part of the civil war will get <laughs> holy shit we have two percent stability and nine percent war support i mean this is pretty accurate for the period but kind of horrible no worry though we are gonna build a prosperous chile after the civil war so it's all in good faith behold political power gain <laughs> this country is horrible i never seen lower numbers in any other country maybe ethiopia but at least i had manpower with it my political power is back there is no useful political advisor for me to hire can't change the economy law and i have no chief of army <laughs> this is pretty much useless oh yeah we dropped to zero stability if you could go beyond zero percent in vanilla we would be in big trouble holy shit this focus gave me like eight advisors let's see what we got here a lot of guys that give me monthly population that's cool i guess man this is pathetic 50 weekly manpower unfortunately all of those advisors give me communist support and i i don't know if that's really good so let's get this guy he doesn't give me that much and maybe this one and we finally got a chief of army nice bruh what the fuck those motherfuckers just Stole a piece of my territory. They didn't even ask, they just took it. Was it from this focus? I I don't I don't think so. I'm gonna get revenge from this. Just you wait. Also, we are playing unhistorical, of course. The whites have risen up in Russia. Japan is monarchist. Hitler is still alive, which is concerning. I don't know what the fuck is going on in Italy. France is probably going communist, and the UK is democratic. Okay, good to know. 
Alright, and it is time to ignite the civil war. Let's move the divisions down to here because we are not gonna get Santiago, I don't think. There it is. Let's crush those motherfuckers. We got seven divisions. No field marshal. But this guy looks amazing, so let's promote him. Oh my fucking god, the logistic wizard, day one. Nice. And I think I'm gonna get the infantry leader next. We also got more advisors, I think. Actually, a bunch of good ones. Let's get this factory output guy. And we can actually continue down our focus tree. This is nice. Oh, this is gonna give us infinite stability. God knows we fucking need it. And take a look at this, guys. This buff is amazing. Anyway, let's start pushing. This civil war is not gonna win itself. We got six factories. The other Chile has... Oh, a lot. But I think we have the same number of divisions. Okay, let's try to go for Santiago. Ah, this is not gonna work like this. Okay, yeah, it was uh, to be expected. Please don't lose the capital. That That's all I'm asking. Those are a lot of interesting icons. I like those. But let's see. This sucks. This one also sucks. This one not so much. This is militia. This is militia. We don't need it. This also sucks. So... Let's get the Prussia of South America icon for this division. Let's convert everything to that. And I'm gonna delete all those templates because I don't really need them. And we are only 1.5k guns short. That's manageable. We are gonna wait a little bit. Actually, let's try to fall back to see if the enemy is gonna attack us. Yep, they are. Nice. I actually have more manpower than them. Although they got like four times my population. I don't know how that works. But I am grateful. We don't have an infantry leader. That sucks. But we can go to war economy. This guy should get a bunch of experience. We can promote him, I think. Oh, no. He's already an advisor. Damn it. Let's switch him with the hill fighter then. And we can get our first doctrine. This is going pretty good. I'm about to take Santiago. Those divisions are not moving, which is helping me very much. And they also have shitty militia. Oh, they finally moved it's a little bit too late buddy i'm gonna encircle those guys now and chile is at 79 percent nice you can go further up and those guys are dead got a bunch of factories so let's start building more equipment something like this okay this is not working stop then oh and that was enough nice you know what guys i kind of dig this blue chile i hope it stays this color what the fuck fuck no i'm not demobilizing the economy i just mobilized it and i just expanded the agricultural field i chose this because i like this buff more than this buff let's get some silver going and i think our next target is gonna be argentina they are a little scary but i think we got this in the bag we also don't have a theorist anymore well we actually didn't have a good one before either it was a grand battle plan dude so yeah, not so much to do with the political power, so I'm gonna improve worker conditions and do some raids to get some stability. Bruh, this path has a lot of army buffs, look at all those beauties. It's gonna be really easy to conquer the world like this, not gonna lie. And I think I'm gonna have to demobilize the economy soon, because I'm not getting over 50% war support. Probably ever. Also, I still have two resource slots, and I won't get one from my political path. And the only other one I can see is all the way down here. <laughs> so so this is this is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. I think now I understand why all of those army buffs... Wow, the whites actually won in Russia. And of course they had to create 27 million new countries. Germany declared war on Czechoslovakia and the entire Czech Entente. They are not at war with France yet, which joined the allies. And I think nobody is gonna decolonize this game. So I won't have to justify on 10 million more countries. That's amazing. This Ethiopia is looking very weird. And Argentina just erupted into civil war. I thought about doing some industry, but this focus will give me resources in states that already have resources, so I decided it would be wise to conquer Argentina first, to get even more resources. So it's gonna take me some time to get all those buffs. Come on, bruh. You stole this territory from me just to lose against Ecuador. You are like twice as strong as they are. How do you lose this bad? <laughs> they actually won. Oh my fucking god. 
This is absolutely pathetic. Oh no, an earthquake. Oh, this is gonna give me a lot of stability. Ah, it's not that bad then. Argentina just finished their civil war. They are communists now, which is amazing. Because there is no communist faction, aside from the Chinese United Front. But you don't talk about that. And they got even less divisions now. Perfect. I'm gonna finish this focus and then I'm gonna do the one that gives me the war. I have some gaps in my front line, but so do the Argentinians. So I'm not gonna stress too much about it. I'm gonna try to encircle the troops in the south and pretty much just walk between the gaps and try to encircle as many divisions as I can. Oh my fucking god, this is amazing. This is the best country to do a world conquest with. Minus 80% justify war goal time. This is so beautiful. I'm literally tearing up. This is the best thing ever. Why the fuck is Portugal this color? Uh, they are regular, non-aligned. We, we are never gonna know why. Oh yeah, Germany took out everything. And Britain is invading the Middle East. What the fuck, we have Kurdistan. Oh, they liberated it, okay. Yeah, let's get back to our stuff. I cannot go to war economy, I need one more war support, Jesus fucking Christ. One encirclement. Oh hey, this one is not working. Two encirclements. Three encirclements. Oh, I got encircled myself. That's not good. My focus cancelled. Why the fuck? Oh, I need to own all the states that I own. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Let's do some army then. The Argentinians left most of the front empty. So don't mind me just walking in. Please kill those guys fast. And... Can we take care of this motherfucker already? He's annoying. Finally taking care of the tip as well. I don't know why, but I don't core this state. I thought I got cores on all of Argentina, but apparently not. One more encirclement. Oh, damn. Poland is gone. Germany is at war with the allies as well. Oh, this guy is snaking for the capital. I forgot about him. Those are the casualties. This communist Argentinian flag looks awfully similar to the North Korean one. Just saying. First war done. Oh, fuck. I just realized that that I will have to deal with the vanilla peace conference. That kind of sucks. Okay. We got only 6 million core population. What the fuck? Oh, we don't core <laughs> anything pretty much. I can invite Brazil into my faction. No, thank you. I will like to eat them later. What should I attack next? Paraguay is fascist, so I will probably be at war with the Axis. I don't know if I want that. The Russian Dominion? Oh, they are a Japanese puppet. Yeah, sure. Uruguay is no, no. Eh, let's declare war on Uruguay. Whatever. I just hope they are not gonna join the allies. Because that would be way too early. Oh, yeah, nice. I can integrate the South Atlantic Islands. But but I cannot call the rest of Argentina. Uruguay did not join any faction, so we are safe. I don't know what to say about Uruguay. I don't think they are safe at all, but we are. And after all, that's all that matters. The compliance buffs are incredible. Argentina is at 20% compliance in 100 and something days. The resource load situation is not good at all though. I barely have any technology and it's 1940 already. I don't think I will be able to get planes going until the 50s. Oh shit, there is a lot of people to liberate. Let's get the Charua people and the Rapa Nui. Uh, where the fuck are the Rapa Nui? Oh, here on the island. Uh, okay, is this all? What the fuck? This is a literal baby. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of puppets this game. I know that we can actually annex and core them all, but I will need to liberate them all first for the achievement and for maximum cores, you know. Um, I uh, Paraguay, I thought I would kill them instantly but uh, th they they have a very strong army I, I couldn't push a single tile oh my god for real i am attacking from four directions five five directions now and i cannot break through well this river doesn't help but still this is frightening this i'm scared now i am actually genuinely scared by paraguay nope i, I cannot push what the actual fuck is that river everywhere yeah it's everywhere okay let's employ a new strategy then let's let them push a little oh yeah this is my template by the way it's nothing to laugh at bro this is horrible i managed to encircle two units and that was it paraguay is a fucking beast i'm not even joking i finally managed to cross this cursed river i lost 35k manpower so far for fucking Paraguay. I wonder how the fuck they lost that goddamn war. If they are this strong, it doesn't make any sense. Nah, this is fucking ridiculous. I, I cannot. I can't push. I can't push. 
They lost 100k men. 10% of their entire population and they are not giving up. <laughs> this is actually so fucked up. Okay, I finally think I got this. I should be able to push now. This corner, this style here is the worst. Paraguay joined the Hispanic Alliance, by the way, and Brazil the Allies. It's not exactly good, but it could be way worse. Trust me on that. I never in a million years could have believed that a war with Paraguay will take this much out of me. It's actually insane how hard this was. It took me one year, I think. One entire year. There we fucking go. Can we also get Bolivia without them joining anything? Do I have anything else that gives me manpower here? Well, I have monthly population, 10% recruitable and a lot of communist support and more monthly population. Yeah, that's not very good. I literally took out Bolivia in one week and it took me one entire year for Paraguay. Why did they make it so strong? I can't get over this. I literally can't. This Hispanic alliance is actually pretty good for me. Because every country that I declare on it's joining this faction. Unfortunately, Mexico is gonna get killed pretty soon. So I need to hurry to get the other three countries. And Mexico capitulated. I only have 54% of the war score. So uh, this is not gonna be pretty. I am announcing it ahead of time. That's the first chunk, and we have a contestation already. Will I actually be able to get everything now? Okay, they are contesting me a lot. I cannot take this one anymore, okay. Okay, I got a lot actually. I can't take this one anymore, and I cannot take the navies, I think. Oh, no, the navies are very small, I can take them. There we go. Oh, Venezuela is free. Okay, that sucks. Alright, now. I am still at war with Suriname, which is a fucking major for some reason. Oh, they inherited the faction, okay. The Axis is fucking huge. So is the Allies, but I think I'm gonna try to get Venezuela, the rest of it. And after that, I am gonna go against the Allies, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. I am not gonna release anything so far. I am uh, in a really big need for manpower. I wish I had some guy that gave me non-core manpower because, yeah, this is not quite enough to get everybody. Oh, yeah, and I also need garrisons. Finally got my third research slot in 1942. And this is the last one I'm gonna have. All game. Okay, guys, it's been a while. It's mid-1945. I waited for the compliance to go all the way up to 100, mostly, to get all the manpower that I can. I have 104 divisions, 90 of which are mine. It is very little to have at this point in the game with this allied faction, but something amazing happened. The Germans landed in Britain. So I think this is the perfect moment to start justifying on Brazil. It's only gonna take 25 days. All my troops are on position. I have supply everywhere, big stockpiles, and pretty much all the army buffs that I could get. So it is now or never. Well, uh, the Brazilian front is pretty much empty. There are like five divisions here at most. The problem is that I was trading half of my steel with Russia. And now that the two biggest fleets in the game are my enemies, I will no longer be able to trade. So my production lines are uh, collapsing. Does Brazil have any steel? Ah, uh, not so much. They have some, but it's not gonna be enough for my consumption. Also, the new Amazon is terrible. I, I don't like it one bit. It's not visible at all. And why the fuck does it need so many provinces? I think it's amazing how, from my buffs, I can fight in the Amazon with my divisions looking like this, and the enemy looks like this. <laughs> this must be the best part about this focus tree. Also, Brazil is about full. The only problem is that I joined this war very, very, very late, and Germany has a lot of war scores, so if I don't do anything, I will probably not even be able to to get the entirety of Brazil for myself. A lot of manpower is coming in, I don't know where from. I don't have that much non-core population available from Brazil. I think I will have to go to service by requirement really soon, but for now it's fine. And of course, they capitulated to the goddamn Germans. For fuck sake. Oh, first naval invasion is going off. I wonder where it is. Probably in the only spot where I don't have garrisons, as it always tends to happen. Oh my god, they got this one tile here, Jesus Christ. Why the fuck does Italy guarantee the fucking Netherlands Antilles, which is democratic? They hate me this fucking much? 
I can't be at war with the Axis as well. <laughs> Look at this world, this is ridiculous. They even got Portugal in that. And they are non-aligned. I managed to capture a port, which I'm gonna need very much, because I still only have 5% war participation. I'm currently doing a lot of collaboration governments on the USA, this is the last one. Then I'm gonna move on to Germany, which is humongous. They have 6 million manpower on all adults serve. So there will be a lot of work to be done there too. Oh, but look at this, lucky me. I will be able to get this port to kill the German army in. So I'm not very worried about that. The focus tree is still going. I have all the navy shit to do. This is gonna take another two years. So yeah, this focus tree has a lot of content and it's crazy powerful. Powerful. Only if Paradox will rework the goddamn that or Dishonored nations to be this powerful, it would be amazing. Well, apparently absolutely nobody cares about Mexico. I got two ports and I think I killed five or six divisions at most. I've got two ports and I think I killed five or six divisions at most in a couple months. There are also not a lot of troops on Mexico itself, so I could just keep going, honestly. Oh my god, the Americans have so little divisions. Okay, maybe, maybe I should just go. Let's take another army up north. I hoped to kill divisions in the ports so I can get more war score. I only have 6% so far, so uh, yeah. Oh, also, the goddamn Axis faction has 6 entire majors. And by the time I defeat the allies, I think the number is gonna rise. Also, it would be smart to justify on more people, so I can get them with the allies. Oh, for fuck's sake. Italy guarantees a lot of shit, and those guys are fascists, Jesus Christ. What else is there to kill? Liberia. They are surely not gonna get guaranteed now, are they? Um, things are going very good. The Americans barely have one division on each tile. They are at 55%. I could capitulate them at any moment, but I still only have 10% war participation, so I don't know what to do. I kinda want that before I capitulate the US to declare war on the Axis and kill a couple divisions in this port so I can weaken their army before they inevitably take territory in the Americas. Also started the first collaboration government in Germany. I declared war on a bunch of nations and actually most of them did not join the Allies. I declared war on everything here except Bhutan. I only have to justify on Siam, Mongolia and Tanutuva. Yeah, well, I decided to kill the USA and I'm just gonna press the button to get more war score. I'm only at 11%, which is not very nice. Also, I don't know what the fuck happened. You guys remembered when the US was at 55, now they're at 46 and I pushed a little more. They randomly regained like 10% for no reason. And this is it. The allies are dead and I only have 18% as much as Italy. This is gonna be the most horrible thing ever. So let's just jump right into it, because the longer I think about a normal peace conference, I just want to quit the game. Okay, they started getting a little bit of territory, I'm gonna contest them. And they also contested me a lot, what the fuck. Oh, they literally took all of the US. Bruh, they have no chill. Can I please get Ireland? I just want a single state so I can invade them from it. And I can't get the rest. Fuck. Well, this is it. It's pretty bad. Let's take some of the British Navy then. Oh, the stupid bitches didn't have enough war score to get everything because they were fighting me in the US. And all this stuff is free now. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's, let's reconquer the US then. Oh yeah, this is what happened. The collaboration governments got erased. It's something that happens, pretty usual in this game. I got a war goal on this little Brazil, but I actually have truces with everybody until November, so this is gonna expire, I think. Yep, and it's gonna do it before the truce expires. God fucking damn it. Oh, this makes sense. I wasn't getting the collaboration government because the USA was alive. So after I killed the remains, I got it. Also, I just realized that I will have to justify on all of those African nations because they got liberated in the war. So I'm not escaping the decolonization madness. Right now, I'm at war with most of the world. They have around 2000 divisions, I think, already killed 5 million people. I captured this port here and I finally figured it out how to do the blue arrow thing. People told me not to have a front line, so I did the next best thing and I used 
used a fallback line, but apparently that doesn't work either. They need to have no order. So now I just do this. It's way fucking faster. I won't have to pause the game every time a division comes into this port. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna do this for the next tower or something like that. At least it's very satisfying. Oh yeah, the UK exists down here and only here. It's a bit ironic. Right now I am able to do most of those decisions. I still need to get some small territories like Greenland. I need to take this port in order to do this one and I also need to get all those islands. So I'm gonna get to work on that. <laughs> I just saw something really funny. Can somebody explain to me how the fuck did this happen? This is Turkish Belgium, which is a Reichskommissariat having the German flag and being a Turkish puppet. How the fuck did this monstrosity come to be? Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot to justify. <laughs> I lost around one year of justifications, I think. Those are the casualties. 13 million. The number of divisions barely changed barely if at all only killed 1.4 million germans i almost killed more spanish it's not nice it's gonna take a long 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 while oh and russia just became the third rom better start doing those collaboration governments also my navy is getting a real beating i lost around 300 ships it's kind of weird because i kind of win every battle i mean i lose one sub at a time germany has 200 ships left i think they started with 700 or something like that but my fleet is just too good because of the bonuses all right i just felt a naval invasion in liverpool i honestly don't know what the fuck happened i landed here with 12 divisions pushed to around here and then i stopped to wait for other armies to come i came back to the port to kill more divisions for like 30 seconds and when I looked back all my divisions were encircled so I lost like 10 of them. This time I'm preparing a new naval invasion into Ireland so I have a base of operation in case of anything bad and yeah nothing really changed that much. I forgot to justify again fucking hell. The enemy casualties are at 25 million by the way. Not that many Germans though. I noticed earlier that they actually went back to extensive conscription. So I think they are demobilizing this manpower. I don't know if they can go back up. They have 0% stability. But they do have some more support. I don't know why I did this. It took me way too much time. And it pretty much doesn't help me at all. But look at this guys. This is cool. At least it is cool, okay? And... I made a certain group of people very happy. A group of people that like cars really much. Uh, not the movie, not the movie. By the way, those are the casualties. 35 entire million. Germany finally started to send divisions to me. I don't know why the fuck I have a collaboration government on German Norway because I don't. I actually don't. But uh, yeah, this is taking a lot of time. I am at war with every single country on earth. And those guys still have 2500 divisions. Germany went up to service by requirement and they only have 1 million manpower left. Oh yeah, and I gave up trying to get all the islands. I wanted to release all those guys and core them before going to land in Europe, but I actually can't because there is this decision for the Hawaiian Kingdom and I cannot create it because the Hawaiian Kingdom was a country, so I need to finish the war and then do it. And yes, I have to release every single one of them for this achievement. It is 1956. I lost all my ports because I misclicked. I could let the Germans naval invade me back. The entire faction got 52 million casualties so far. The number of divisions is not going down at all. So I decided to nuke France and invade it. This is also very beautiful. There we go. And now I can send everything here and make them push. I just hope this is not gonna kill my supply. Do the Germans even have any navy left? Oh, no, really. Neither do the Russians and the Italians also have a little. So we are good. I don't think I'm gonna need to micro though. Maybe drop a couple nukes from time to time. I don't know why the fuck my planes suck so much. I'm losing 100 planes for every ship I take down. This is how my strategic bomber looks like. This is my CAS. And this is my fighter. They are all jets, by the way. Holy shit. The German planes are kind of a little better than mine, I think. That's confusing. <laughs> I thought I was liberating France because we have pretty much the same color. I got scared there for a little bit. Oh, hey, this is a bit scary. The hordes are pouring in. And my divisions are gonna take a lot of time to get here. Look at them. This is crazy. 
I just hope I'm not gonna get counter pushed because I will lose a lot of shit from this. Well, in the time it got me to get some divisions here, they also got a shitload of troops. Look at this. 20 divisions on every single tile, so I will need to do things like this. In order to advance, you know. Vichy France is not in the axis though, so everything here is gonna be cut out. Probably around 200 divisions, easy. Unfortunately, I can only get air supremacy in one zone at a time. So I can't really nuke the entire front line, that's sad. We should like invent some kind of technology so we can drop nukes remote. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. I made some mountaineer troops for some reason, I don't know, I just felt like it. And this is it. They actually have less soft attack than my main division, but they have 25 more org, which can help a bit. Holy shit, I'm losing 50 planes a tick. That's not good. Look at this shit, they have 350 divisions here on this this front, this narrow front. They're attacking like crazy, that's nice. Their manpower is gonna go down really fast now. So I am not gonna try to push any longer for some time. This is where I am so far. It's 1958, almost 59. And I almost ran out of nukes because I keep doing this shit. I cannot, for the love of God, get air superiority in this zone so I can properly nuke the German line. But for some reason the Germans are not putting any planes in southern France, so I can have it forever. And this singular tile is owned by the Axis and they put divisions here. So I just stay here and spam this button, because if the troops get low enough, they actually get killed by the nuke. Look, the number of divisions is getting down, so I'm just killing divisions like this and I have 9 nukes left. I am getting 1 nuke in 5 days though, which is not really that bad. I will just have to wait a little. Those are the casualties, 71 million, and the number of Axis divisions actually went up a bit. I don't know who the fuck is making divisions, because Russia and Germany have zero manpower. I mean, there isn't a lack of countries that can train divisions, but I am just saying. Japan actually has 2 million manpower on all adults serve. That's kinda sad. Oh, they only lost 7 million. I don't know if this is a bug, but I've been mining for chromium in Alaska for the past, let's say, 20 years. <laughs> and this little island has 1,236 chromium. <laughs> and I don't think this decision will become unavailable anytime soon. So I'm gonna keep clicking it. And if I remember about it, I will show it at the end of the video to see how much chromium we got there. I am really struggling to get air superiority here, so... Uh cannot push so far. I think I can push and kill Spain and Portugal though, so I'm gonna try to do that. I really wanna know how the fuck do the Japanese or the Germans have ships in this one sea zone when the closest port to this zone is all the way over here. And I, from Hawaii, I didn't have full coverage even in this adjacent sea zone. So please explain me, how are those guys surviving here? Finally, I managed to get air superiority in Northern France. Look at those beauty going off. Ah, yes. That was about 1 million people dead. That's horrible. I'm a monster. Let me do it again. I learned nothing. And I think I can also press those buttons. Oh yeah, total casualties 19 million. We're gonna get over 10 million easy. Look at all the green bubbles. It's majestic. Alright, alright. Iberia is almost finished. Got Belgium and the Netherlands. And I think I stepped on core German territory. Yeah, quite a bit actually. Casualties are up to 93 million. I somehow lost this port. I don't know how. Germany is about to fall. They are at 89%. There we go. I'm gonna leave those divisions here and next up i want to get rid of italy but i don't have a lot of nukes to be able to do that because this is all mountains i'm also getting more and more manpower the further i go in and i don't fucking know how to make those guys push if i draw an order it just gets pasted into this other one i think some time ago it worked if you selected the units oh it actually does work but not all the time i think or if i go too far no it actually works fine okay Never mind then, just don't, don't mind me. Hey, we just reached 100 million casualties. Second major power is about to die. Four more to go. Oh, and Greece. But I'm not worried about that. Because they have no chance against my nukes. They might have some good mountains, but come on. Pushing into Russia now, it's going pretty easily. I am about to capitulate Greece, and together with it, its entire faction. So we are gonna have a peace deal for the first time in 20 years. <laughs> It's 1961 almost, Jesus Christ. Let's nuke St. Petersburg, just for fun. 
Oh my fucking god, they actually have to invade Crete, I think. Or at least take those islands. Greece is at 99%. This sucks. That's because Bulgaria had Macedonia and Thrace. Look at this one, guys. This one is huge. Over 100 divisions here. Probably, maybe, I think. Look at them go. Beautiful. There goes Russia. Oh, wait, excuse me. The third Rome. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Maybe I should have left Russia for last. Because now I'm gonna have big troubles with those wacky front lines. Okay, cleaning up the snakes left by the third Rome took actually more time than killing the actual third Rome. Now I have to deal with this. Japan is the only left major, but I don't really have a place to invade them from. This whole entire chunk of Russia doesn't have a single port. And I don't think I can reach it from Alaska. So I will have to occupy China first. If you guys ever wondered how much time it will take to research absolutely every single technology in the game with only three research slots, well, it's about January 1962. Also, we no longer need the North American territory, so let's start liberating some natives. Okay, we did all but two. I can't do reorganize the Canadian government, I don't know why. I even have this little island here. Maybe it's because they exist, capitulated. And I also cannot do this one, although I think I have all I need, I don't know. So this is pretty interesting. We have Uruguay, the Guarani, the Great Pindorama, the Incan Empire, uh, this thing. The Grand Kingdom of El Dorado, this is sick. The Mosquito Kingdom, the Nahua, even the Maya, Indigenous Mexico, the Native USA, this is interesting, and the Inuit. Ah, fuck, South Africa is now major. Jesus Christ, it's all the way over here. This sucks. Let's get some of my garrisons here to try and push to the Cape. While they're at it, maybe they can do that Cape to Cairo thing. What was it? A railway, maybe? What I found very interesting about those nations is that everybody has a custom icon here. And they are all pretty interesting. I spent a bunch of time just looking at them all. They are pretty cool. I don't know why, but for some reason, out of every single one of those, there is the Guarani nation that has the Paraguay flag instead of the flag they have, which I think it's pretty weird. I almost reached the Chinese sea, by the way. It's going pretty slow because of the lack of supply. And the Japanese still have a lot of divisions, almost 200. The Axis has 500 divisions total now. We are nearly done, boys. South Africa is at 50% and the total number of casualties is gonna be 126 million. The decision for Alaska disappeared. So that's sad. Oh yeah, it's because I don't control it anymore. That makes sense. It has 1,600 chromium. And we finally have a peace conference. This is gonna take a lot of time. Finally, there we go. Everything it's mine. Let me delete everything. Let me liberate the other two native states and I got the achievement. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Is there anything I can do here? Oh yeah, I can do the Chilean Empire and I think that's all. Okay, let's do our final focus. I haven't touched this focus tree in 15 years. Unified by will. This should give us scores on all the natives and the next them. I don't know why the fuck you would do this one instead. I mean, yeah, that buff is okay, I guess, but it doesn't even come close to having 400 million core population instead of 8. There we go. We are now the Grand Federation of American Peoples. 363 million core population. The funny thing is that we still don't core Argentina. So, uh, yeah. This was it, boys. The Mapuche World Conquest. There it is, 100% of the world. Took me 17 hours this time. It's a little harder when you have to start a world conquest from this spot, the literal corner of the world, but I managed to do it. And here are all the statistics if you are interested in them. As I say every single time, some of those are wrong. I don't know why, but they sometimes just break. So yeah, also got a couple of words this game. And thank you for watching this far, guys. Hope you liked the video. 
not gonna lie, the Chilean Focus 3, well, at least this path, is pretty good. I've been throwing a lot of shade on this DLC, but I guess it's alright. And as always, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me every single month. Flossy, Tomilea1, Arctic, CJ, Devante, Thunder, Grongwegs, Windows Mistake Edition, Gabe's Licor, Jack M, Erika Mannerheim, Ayan, Niklas, and K6444. Thank you again, and I'm gonna go lay down. Bye bye.